Hi all, welcome to vSparks. Today, we are going to discuss about the concepts of Google Compute Engine. We are also going to see a demo on how to create and access a Windows Virtual Machine in Google Cloud Platform. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We will be discussing the concepts, features, machine types and the CPU platforms of Google Compute Engine. At last, we will be seeing the demo on how to create and access a Windows Virtual Machine in Google Cloud Platform. What is Google Compute Engine? Google Compute Engine is the infrastructure as a service component of Google Cloud Platform. Google Compute Engine lets you to create and run virtual machines on Google's infrastructure. The infrastructure that is running Google products like Google Search Engine, YouTube, Gmail, etc. will be powering the Google Cloud Platform as well. Compute Engine VMs can be launched from the standard images or the custom images created by users. Images are nothing but the blueprint of an operating system. There is no upfront cost to run these virtual machines. There are some things that you should know before launching a virtual machine in Google Cloud Platform. First one is images. Images are nothing but the blueprint of an operating system. Next is machine types or the instance types. Machine types defines the virtual hardware of your virtual machine. How much virtual CPU, memory, hard disks and all those things will be defined by this machine type. To run and access a virtual machine, obviously we need a software defined virtual network. Firewalls restricts or allows the incoming and the outgoing traffic. Which network port should be opened and which port should be blocked will be the scope of a firewall. IP addresses are used to find your virtual machines in a network. At last, persistent disks gives you the virtual hard disks to your virtual machines. Features of Google Compute Engine These are some features of Google Compute Engine. First is billing. GCP builds your machines in per minute basis. For example, if you run a machine for 62 minutes, you should pay for 62 minutes alone. Some cloud service providers bills you in an hourly basis. So for our case, for 62 minutes, you have to pay for 2 hours in the other clouds. Availability in Google is more with the help of auto restart and migration feature. You can also run your startup scripts in your virtual machines. Coming to discounts, Google offers you two kinds of discount model. If you are running a VM in GCP on an on-demand mode, that is a regular model without discounts, Google will give you discounts automatically based on the usage of your virtual machine. So this kind of discount is also called as sustained use discounts or simply automatic discounts. Second is committed use discounts. In this model, you have to reserve a VM for a certain duration, maybe years or months, etc. It is the kind of reservation discount. Only if you reserve a VM, you will be getting discounts. That's why it is called as committed use discounts. Coming to right sizing. Google Cloud will give you the recommendations automatically for right sizing your VMs based on the workload that you are running in the VMs. So this will save your cost as well. Next is physical machines versus virtual machines. Here in physical machines, all your resources, that is your CPU, RAM, network, hard disks, or bare physical. Physical in the sense, it is the hardware, real hardware. But in the case of your virtual machine, all the resources at the back of your virtual machine will be virtual. This is the only difference between a physical machine and the virtual machines. 
Next is machine types. A machine type is a template of a virtualized hardware resources available to your virtual machine instance. So this template includes the system memory size, the virtual CPU count and the persistent disk limits as well. So normally machine types are classified into two types. One is predefined machine types, another one is custom machine types. A predefined machine type is the one where the templates are already predefined by Google Compute Engine. Whereas in the case of custom machine types, you can customize these templates by mentioning the number of CPU, memory, hard disks, etc. etc. So based on the amount of virtual hardware, these predefined machine types are classified into different families. You can see general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized and shared core. Next is CPU platforms of Google Cloud Platform. When you launch a virtual machine in GCE, that is Google Compute Engine, it uses any one of these CPU platforms that you mentioned. If you do not mention the CPU platform explicitly, Compute Engine will automatically use the default CPU platform available in that specified zone where you are going to run your virtual machine. So the available CPU platforms in GCP is listed here. You can see all the CPUs are made up of Intel Xeon processor and you can see the processor types as Cascade Lake, Sky Lake, Broadwell, Haswell, Ivy Bridge and Sandy Bridge and these are the base frequencies of different families. Answer this quiz by clicking this icon which is present in your screen and the question is what is a machine type and the options are virtual hardware templates, software templates and none of the above. The answer is presented in the next slide. Before seeing the next slide, please answer this quiz in your screen. The answer for this quiz is number one, virtual hardware template. Machine types are nothing but a predefined templates or a custom templates of virtual hardware. That is this answer. Now we will see a demo on how to create and access a Windows VM in Google Cloud Platform. This is step number one. We are going to log in to Google Cloud Console and choose the respective project. This is going to be your first step. Just open a browser and type console.cloud.google.com. Just use your email ID and the password to log in to Google Cloud Platform. So this is your management console of Google Cloud Platform. Make sure that you logged into the correct project. So with this step 1 is over. Now step 2. Use the navigation menu to access Google Compute Engine and create a Windows VM. So this is your navigation menu. Click it. Under Compute, you can see Compute Engine. Under Compute Engine, click VM Instances and click Create in the Compute Engine page. So give a name for your VM and choose your machine type. Here I am choosing it as N1 Standard 2 which is a predefined machine type. Choose a different OS that is in our case we have to choose a Windows OS. So in this case I am choosing Windows Server 2012 R2 data center. So under networking just see in which network we are launching this virtual machine. We are launching this in default network. So just hit create your virtual machine will be created in few seconds. So right now it is created. Now you can see the virtual machine is running state. So with this your step 2 is over. Now step 3. You are going to set a password and access the Windows VM using a RDP client. So first we are going to set the password for this Windows virtual machine. 
so the username is going to be admin just click set it will provide you a default password that's it just copy this password so now open the rdp client here you have to enter the external ip address of your virtual machine which is 37.67.147.63 and hit connect if it is not connected just wait for few seconds and try again also check the firewall port for rdp connections after few seconds you will get a page like this just click use another user the username is going to be admin and paste the password which you copied earlier that's it now you can see the virtual machine got connected from your local desktop now you can run your applications within this virtual machine So that's it that's all about this uh, demo and try to clean up your labs once the demo is over this is a summary that we have discussed so far in this video thank you from bsparks and thank you for watching this video